the transcendental vibration established by the chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, is the sublime method for reviving our transcendental consciousness. As living spiritual souls, we are all originally Krishna conscious entities, but due to our association with matter from time immemorial, our consciousness is now adulterated by the material atmosphere. The material atmosphere in which we are now living is called māyā or illusion. Maya means that which is not. And what is the illusion? The illusion is that we are all trying to be lords of the material nature, while actually we are under the grip of our stringent laws. When a servant artificially tries to imitate the all-powerful master, it is called illusion. We are trying to exploit the resources of material nature, but actually we are becoming more and more entangled in our complexities. Therefore, although we are engaged in a hard struggle to conquer nature, we are ever more dependent on her. The illusory struggle against material nature can be stopped at once by revival of our eternal Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, is the transcendental process for reviving the original pure consciousness. By chanting this transcendental vibration, we can cleanse away all misgivings within our hearts. The basic principle of such misgivings is the false consciousness that I am the Lord of all I survey. Krishna consciousness is not an artificial imposition on the mind. This consciousness is the original nat- natural energy of the living entity. In the beginning, there may be not uh, the presence of all transcendental ecstasies, which are eight in numbers. They are being stopped as through dumb perspiration, standing of all hairs on the body, dislocation of voice, trembling of the body, crying ecstasy, trance. But there is no doubt that chanting for a while takes one immediately to the spiritual platform and one shows the first symptoms of this in the urge of dance along with the chanting of the mantra. We have seen this practically. Even a child can take part in this chanting and dancing. Uh, The material energy called māyā is also one of the multi-energies of the Lord. And we, the living entities, are also energy, marginal energy of the Lord. These three words, namely Hara, Krishna and Rama, are the transcendental seeds of the Mahamantra. The chanting is a spiritual call for the Lord and His energy to give protection to the conditioned soul. The chanting is exactly like the genuine cry of a child for its mother's presence. No other means of spiritual realization is as effective in this age of quarrel and hypocrisy as the Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.